guys, and welcome back to another episode of Strange Days, where we look at stories of unsolved and solved murders and disappearances throughout Canada. If you have a case you'd like me to cover, please email me at strangedays0000 at outlook.com. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be uploading a new video each week. Thanks, and enjoy. The Lincoln County Jane Doe Lincoln County is located in the beautiful southwest part of the state of Mississippi in the USA. On Sunday, September 17th of 1989, around 2.25 p.m., a man who was traveling from Tennessee had made a stop at a rest area along Interstate 55 and Mile Marker 26 in Lincoln County. The man made a horrifying discovery at the rest stop. In some bushes located at the stop, he found the body of an unidentified woman. The area where the body was located was not visible from the rest stop area. The man quickly alerted the police and once they were on scene, it was in fact determined by the coroner that the woman was deceased. When she was found, she was not wearing any clothes except for a pair of white athletic socks with three blue stripes that were rolled down. It was noted that there had not been any attempt to hide the body with branches or any other debris. The unidentified woman had no wounds, bruises or marks anywhere on her body. Her initial cause of death was unknown at this time. Investigators did believe that she had died elsewhere and that her body had just been dumped there. It was undetermined as to whether or not she had been sexually assaulted. At first it was believed that she was about 17 to 20 years of age. An autopsy would later be performed and authorities determined her age to be around 30 years old and would show that the woman had died from manual strangulation. It was noted during the autopsy that she may have had bad teeth and as well that she had characteristics of Down syndrome which may have made her appear younger than her actual age. Investigators then began to check with institutions in Mississippi and Louisiana which helped people with Down syndrome if they had had any missing people or runaways. However, there were none linked to Jane Doe. Two men were later charged with her murder and had stated that they did not know her name but had picked her up from New Orleans and believed that she was a prostitute. They claimed that they had intentions of robbing and then killing her. The Lincoln County Jane Doe was laid to rest on December 14th of 1989 at the Rose Hill Cemetery in Brookhaven. She was described as being between the ages of 16 and 35 at the time of her death. She was 5 foot 2 inches tall and weighed between 135 and 145 pounds. Jane Doe had shoulder-length brown hair, which was believed to be naturally wavy or curly. There is a dispute to which color her eyes were, as in the autopsy they were noted as being brown, however another database describes them as being blue. Jane Doe had a mole on her neck as well as freckles and a one centimeter scar on her forehead. She also had a scar on her right thigh. As well, she had one or both of her ears pierced and is believed to have had bad teeth. She is thought to be partially white 
with a possible mix of Native American or East Asian ancestry. Investigators released a composite drawing of the Lincoln County Jane Doe. To this day, the Lincoln County Jane Doe has not been identified. If you have any information about Jane Doe's identity, please contact the Mississippi Chief Medical Examiner's Office at 1-601-987-6680. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos.